Hey everyone. For today's topic, I want to share with you the best defense against judgmental people, and it is to not care what they think of you. This is incredibly powerful in general, but it especially is powerful against judgmental people because it disarms them. It immediately decimates their judgment because if you don't care about their judgment of you, then they're left with nothing, right? It's like shooting water at a duck's back. All it's going to do is just hit the duck's back and just roll right off because they're water resistant. So yeah, it's quite similar to that. And the funny thing is there are various types of judgmental people out there, but this is effective with all of them. You know, sometimes you'll have people who are trying to trigger you, trying to trip you up, that kind of judgmental people. Well, they're obviously not going to be able to do much with you if you don't care what they think of you. And then you'll get people who are just naturally judging. They tend to believe that their opinion matters way more than it actually does. That's typically people who are a bit older in age. That's where the whole stereotype of like Karens come from because Karens think that their opinion is incredibly valuable when it probably isn't, right? So they get really tripped up when someone does not care about their judgment or their opinion at all. Like, I don't know if, how many of you have ever watched videos or seen the videos of Karens out in public, but if you've ever seen one where they're attacking someone who's younger than them and that younger person doesn't care about their judgment or opinion, oh my God, does it trigger the Karen. It makes them get even more crazy because they're like, how is this person not affected by me yelling at them and telling them my opinion? They don't care. What the hell? That's offensive to me. Yeah, it's really funny to see. So it's a great defense for Karens as well. And then you'll have like a third type of judgmental people. These people I like to think of as cowards because they're the ones who won't be, they won't use their judgment to your face. They're the type who will typically talk about you behind your back and that sort of thing. But even with them, if you don't care what they think of you, their judgment means nothing. So no matter which type of judgmental person you're dealing with, this really is the best defense for all of them. If you just don't care what they think of you, they're disarmed right away and they're left with nothing. So I highly suggest practicing just caring less what other people think of you. And one thing that really helps me here is just trying to think about whose opinions actually matter. Because too often we treat every opinion as equal and that's just, that's not the case. I know it's not a politically correct thing to say, but it's true. Not everybody's opinion is made equally. Some people just haven't worked on themselves enough for their opinion to be valuable. Some people aren't good people, so their opinion isn't valuable. Or some people just aren't experts in whatever the hell they're talking about, so their opinion isn't valuable. So let's stop treating all opinions as equal. It'll make it easier for you to weather that judgment from others because as soon as someone starts judging you, you can analyze them and ask yourself, does this person's opinion of me actually matter? Is it actually valuable? Are they an expert in whatever they're judging me on? Do Are they a good person trying to give me good feedback? Maybe not like just straight up negative crap, but actual constructive criticism? Or is this someone who's actually worked on themselves? So if they don't fall into any of those categories, I would say their opinion isn't very valuable. And usually you'll find that judgmental people yeah, they don't fall into those categories because people who are judging like that typically haven't worked on themselves because anyone who has, they don't really feel the need to judge others, at least not outright. Like we are always judging other people. That goes without saying. It's something we naturally do as human beings. We've evolved to do this because it helps us judge other people to perceive threats and to perceive who we should keep around us. And that helps us survive in the long run. So we all naturally do this. But good people don't do it explicitly. Like they don't, they don't make it obvious. <laughs> like they may look at someone who looks a bit shady and decide not to be near them. So they'll just walk away from that person rather than saying, you look like a bad person. I'm going to avoid you. Like that's what I mean. They do it in a more just casual way, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They basically won't put other people on blast. So whenever someone does that, it's probably someone who hasn't really worked on themselves because why the hell would they do that to someone else? It's not cool behavior. Just if you don't like someone, you don't need to interact with them. Just avoid them. There you go. It's as easy as that. You don't need to go up to them and be like, you are horrible. You are a failure. Blah, blah. Yeah. You don't need to do any of that. So as soon as someone starts judging you like that, calling you a failure or 
saying, I don't know, there are so many different insults they could use. Just translate that in your head to them being someone who has worked on themselves and say, I'm not going to listen to this person's opinion of me. They, their opinion doesn't matter because it's not valuable. They haven't done anything to make it worthwhile. So I'm just going to let their opinion be like water falling off a duck's back. So there you go. That's um, pretty much all I have for you. I hope this was helpful. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!